May I speak in the name of God, who is Father, Son and Holy Spirit. This morning we have heard about the amazing and immediate effect that Jesus had on those he called to be his disciples. Philip had immediately recognised Jesus as the one who was promised by Moses and the prophets and had rushed off to tell his friend Nathaniel. Nathaniel's initial reaction may have been a little different, asking light-heartedly, can anything good come from Nazareth? referring to the bad reputation it had and the fact that it was a Roman garrison. However, when Philip said to him, come and see for yourself, Nathaniel immediately got over his prejudice and proclaimed Jesus as the Son of God, the King of Israel. Jesus showed that he knew all about Nathaniel even before they met, saying that he had seen him under the fig tree and that he was an honest man and a true son of Israel. In the same way, Jesus knows all about each and every one of us, which may cause us some discomfort and may even make us afraid, perhaps, of accepting Jesus into our lives. Some people may have a stereotypical idea of what a typical Christian, if there is such a thing, is like, and they don't want to find out more. Perhaps they're afraid of what they will find out about themselves if they delve too deeply. Will they be expected to give up things that they enjoy? Perhaps they're afraid of what other people will think about them. In fact, someone I know, when I asked if he went to church, said, I would go to church, but I think my friends would laugh at me. How sad that is. And perhaps in these days of social media, people are more aware of what people think about them rather than making up their own minds. Thank God the disciples had no such worries. Jesus called them and their lives were changed almost immediately. Any doubts were dispelled because of the amazing effect of meeting their living Lord. Jesus promised Nathanael that he would see the heavens open and the angels of God going up and down, the Son of Man. This seems to be a reference to Jacob's ladder, explaining the purpose of Jesus' ministry, which was like a ladder linking heaven and earth, with Jesus able to go up and down between the two. Just as Philip wanted to tell his friend Nathaniel about Jesus, so we are called to tell people about Jesus. This is often referred to as evangelising, and if, unfortunately that is a word which many people may feel uncomfortable with. But I recently read a quote made by a Sri Lankan preacher D.T. Niles, who talked about evangelising by saying that Christianity is one beggar telling another beggar where he found bread, wanting to share good news. As Christians, we may see people who are in need of comfort and support in their lives, but who feel that they are helpless and hopeless. We know just what a difference Christ's love makes in our lives, and we want to share the good news of God's love and forgiveness for all, for all who repent in Jesus' name. This isn't because we feel superior, but we are humble and we give thanks that we have been so blessed. Perhaps some people find it difficult to admit to needing God in their lives and believe that they can fulfil all their needs themselves. A friend said to me recently, how can we encourage people to seek God in their lives if they don't believe that they need him? Surely the most wonderful way in which we can show our love for our risen Lord is by sharing the good news that by his death and resurrection we have hope and forgiveness in our lives. We have hope that we are not alone 
no matter how difficult life may be. We have hope and assurance that God loves us and that when we repent of our sins, they will be forgiven. We have hope that death is not an end, but is the gateway to God's eternal kingdom. And we have joy because we know that Jesus can change the lives of all who turn to him. When we share our faith with others, by our words and our deeds, then we can help to bring people to Christ. At baptism we are told not to be afraid to profess the faith of Christ crucified, and this is vital for all of us to remember. As Jesus called the disciples to go and make disciples of all nations, so he is calling us by our words and by our deeds, so that all may come to know Jesus and give their lives to his service. God of all, help us to share our faith with others, communicating simply and sincerely all that you mean to us, that by your saving grace, the wonder of your love may be known to all the world. In Jesus' name. Amen.